smash, smash, smash. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is big. This is big. This is big. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for stopping by. Today I've got a little bit of ice fishing. I'm up on Lake Simcoe in the town of Georgina doing a bit of solo sight fishing for jumbo perch. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to find these fish. It starts off by drilling a lot of holes and looking for exactly what you want as far as weeds go um, on the bottom, weed edges, that kind of thing. And then getting set up and, and staying quiet. So I'll explain all that in the video, but it was great to get the cameras rolling again. I haven't shot fishing content in quite a while, so hope you guys enjoy. It's like Jumbo Central down there right now. Oh my goodness, come on. Don't go away. So you guys stay on them fast? Oh, oh my gosh. They're all giants too. Holy crap. Down, baby. Okay, I gotta get my other bait back down there. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, they're back. Oh, they're back. I wish, I don't know if you guys can see it on here. Oh, they're, oh, they're snapping right now. Yep, got him. Ooh, baby. Stay quiet, stay quick. You gotta try and keep them around. That pack that came in, there was like eight fish in it. So you gotta try and get them quick. Wow, okay. I'm stoked. I think that's why a lot of people get turned off of ice fishing is because they They've had that experience where they go out and it's like, you know what, it was slow, but if you take the time and move around. Oh, got one. So at first I had a rip and wrap on, which was pretty loud, and uh, I wasn't getting any fish to come in. So then I took that off and right away, I saw a fish start to come in, so I think with the amount of pressure out here and, you know, it's, it's shallow water, we're only in 10, 11 feet here. You don't need to do too much to get these fish to come around because they have great eyesight and the water's really clear. So one of the big keys has been to stay really, really quiet. Whenever people are drilling holes around me, I, I can always tell because the fish kind of shut down. And then you give it a couple minutes and the fish start to come back. They're not all big ones, like that one right there. Oh, big guy coming in, big guy coming in. Come on, come on, eat it. Oh, they're giants. They're freaking giants. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at the size of that. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, eat it. Eat it, buddy. Oh, come on. That's a giant, giant. Look at the size of that thing. Got him. Oh yeah, baby. That's the thing, you just stay quiet. They do come in. That one ate that little, it's a 
Rapture plastic that I've cut in half. Sweetness. Oh, the other one was so much bigger. I gotta get back down there. Yes. I'm stoked, man. Watching them eat is so satisfying. Same thing, you wait a few minutes, it gets quiet, and then they come back in. So you gotta be stealthy, you gotta have your, your tackle if you're gonna retie, have it next to you. So that you can just retie without stomping all around. Hey guys, so I wanna show what I'm using today. And I didn't bring any minnows with me. I brought a few salted minnows just for the minnow heads, but I'm not using any minnows, um, just artificials. So first thing that I've been throwing is one of these guys here. That was that rapture worm. It's the first time I've tried it. They come in a package of uh, 10 or 12, I think. And I'm just using the tail. It's quite a long bait, uh, but for these perch, I'm going super light. So uh, that's what I've been using on my one rod. And then on the other rod, a real classic, that's a buckshot spoon with a minnow head on it. So I've got two different types of presentations one that's going to be uh, vertical and one that's horizontal. So I can kind of, you know, play around with the fish, see what they want, and uh, have something a little bit different in the water because uh, you can fish two rods. So that's what I'm using today. Pretty much all artificial other than the minnow heads, um, but I've been getting most of my bites on that plastic. So I moved in a little bit uh, shallower into some weeds and uh, I saw a few there, didn't catch any but they were all real small. So I moved back to where I started because I figured there's really good fish here in the morning and as the sun goes down it probably is going to pick up in here too. So I didn't want to fish new water that I hadn't been successful in so I moved back out here uh, a little bit deeper, a little bit off the weeds and we're going to see what happens. So. That's the game plan. Okay, we're running the dead stick program on that. And then my little finesse guy's just down there. Okay. See, it's really tricky because they just come in so fast and it's like, do I keep the camera rolling? What do I do? They almost handcuff you because they come in, they, they smash it or they make you work for it. In which case you're, you only have two hands, so you're like, you're up here, I got things hanging from the roof, it's not, it's not very organized. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that's a toad. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, please eat. That is a monster. I have to loosen my drag. Oh my gosh, it's a huge perch. It's a huge perch. I got to watch him come in and eat it. Oh, I gotta get my deucer out. This thing's fighting like a freaking walleye. Oh man. Oh, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> it's so awesome, he choked it too. Look at the girth. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I love perch. Wow. That was so sick. I watched him come in and he was tentative too. I had to turn him around. I gave it one little pop and then he, he circled back and I started to get him to come up. And usually, you know, if, if you walleye fish, you know that. If you can get the fish to start to, to chase, it's game over. And that, that was game over. That little finesse bait, man. Oh, he crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. As soon as I moved it, he changed his attitude. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not as big as the other guys, but still. Mmm. Put that in a wonton. Yum. Well guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a lot of fun to get out to do that sight fishing for the perch. That's definitely my favorite way to catch them, especially when they're big like they were on this day. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. Every little bit helps. I have a new podcast coming out starting on February 10th that's going to be every week on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. It's called the Love of Fishing Podcast, and I'm going to be talking to people from the fishing industry, talking tackle, tips, techniques, all that good stuff, and you're not going to want to miss out. Guys, I'd like to thank you again for watching, and remember, get outside and go fishing. Peace. Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> <laughs>